Oh my God, we're so live right now. Is this thing on? Hello, hello, is this thing on? <laughs> Happy pig roast, Favaz. Happy pig roast, you man. Happy pig yeah. roast. Happy glad, pig roast. Uh, I'm, I'm glad I'm sitting here in my backyard to tell you the truth. I'm on my deck right now and I have the Casey flag up. Oh, there you go. <clears throat> So I kind of feel like I'm at Hollywood Casino Amphitheater, sort of. <laughs> I got crap on my table here. I don't like that. You know how I repel against uh, animal feces. You have bird crap on your table? Let me see. Yeah. I thought the birds don't shit in Chesterfield. Yeah. Mm, I can't. <laughs> can't see. I can't see it either. Oh, wait. That just looks like granite. That's just an imperfection in your granite, John. No, that's bird poop. Mm. Tom Block says, will Mark bird Close poop. figure out how to get on? Yeah, Mark is running a little late, so um, hopefully he figures it out. I don't know. But, uh, but we're here, Tom. I was thinking about how hot it was today. I think it was 93 was the high today. Mm -hmm. and how god-awful that would have been uh, at, at the amphitheater. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, same thing about heat stroke and people being taken to the hospitals. Right. All that stuff. Yeah. A pandemic. Right. <laughs> oh, my God, Nathan says, best DJs ever. Hi. <clears throat> hmm. So uh, uh, what, what are you guys I, cooking today? Anything? Am I freezing up or am I all right? Oh, now you're fine. You're fine now. Yeah. Well, uh, what are you doing, John? Are you cooking? What I is that? Have... What is that? A banana? Oh, it's corn. Oh, it's corn. I, I also have some corn. I have a U Man special in a pot right now. I'm I'm boiling up some corn. <laughs> Corn and whiskey. Nice, John. I'm keeping it uh, real uh, Native American today. Look at you. I um, I have a strawberry basil margarita that I've made from scratch. And uh, on par with my millennialisms, I'm having vegan brats and vegan burgers, mac and cheese, and s'mores casserole. Vegan brat. Now, the brat itself is made up of a horrible mixture of scrap meat, scrap, not meat, scrap particles from, from right. uh, animals. So how do you mimic that? Um, I don't know, John. I think it's soy based. Mm. Ugh. It take, I mean, the texture is the same. So, and I feel good about it since I don't eat cows or pigs or random scraps. From so there's the little chunks of like something that feels like gristle in there and, uh, Cartilage, stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. There's little uh, soy cartilage in there. Yeah. Oh, cartilage, so good. <laughs> Not me. I'm doing pork today, John. Ooh. Oh. I've got sazitza, and I'm doing it in the zugu, which is the red sauce which I made homemade. Yeah. And oh, I'm gonna take you guys inside. I'm gonna just put the so the sazitza in, which takes about an hour uh -huh. um, to get soft. And I'm gonna do spaghetti with it later after we're done. And uh, that's that. No barbecue today, though. I did that yesterday. It's too hot. I see. It's too hot. Mm. John, are you just going to dip your corn cob in a maker's mark, or what are we doing over there? No. No, no. I don't want to ruin the maker's mark. Ooh. <laughs> that, that neat, pretty, clean. Oh, yeah. And the yeah. maker's, you know what the maker's mark, you know, you guys know. Makes me honest. Right. Yeah. Oh, oh, hang on a second. You know what? My gardener just showed up. Hang on a second. Oh, man. I'm going to go get some more hang corn. On. I'll be hang on. My gardener just, John, hang on. Oh, who is that? Is that, that's Mark Close, my new gardener. Mm. He's, uh. <laughs> um, yeah, Mark is my, oh my God. Everyone is so excited to see you. Did you know it's pig roast? What do I get paid? You don't get paid. What do I get paid? I'm yeah, feeding you vegan brats. That's my payment to you. 
Mark Close, ladies and gentlemen, live from my house. <clears throat> I, I honestly think he's only here because uh, he didn't know how to set his phone up. So that's why. That's what I was thinking. Yeah, exactly. We're going to get them all set up joining the broadcast. You want to put in your passcode? Don't look. Don't look at his passcode. All right. <clears throat> uh oh. How's that for cameo appearances? <laughs> Play some music. I'm going to put my meat yeah, in. Go get your meat. How do I? Can you see everyone? Hopefully, you'll be able to see it. I would hold it sideways. Sideways. Mm -hmm. Sideways. There he is. Hi, guys. Hi, guys. What a cheater. <laughs> Hey, John, there's real meat right there, John. Hold on. I got to get my glasses. Can you hear me? Okay. Okay. It's kept cutting in. Okay. I'm okay. too bad. That's fine. What is what that? Time what time does my knock and go on? That's Zizitsa. That's Italian sausage. Are you, are you Italian, Favaz? <laughs> You're funny, Mark. <laughs> Maybe uh, maybe maybe cut that casing off and just chew that like gum. How about that? Ew. <laughs> you mean the natural the natural casing, John? I love it. Oh, the natural casing, yes. Yeah, what the did they make that out of? Make that out of actual intestines? Yeah. Big intestines. So here we go. Yeah. Here they they're, they're going in. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I'm going to show you my I'm going to show you too. my meat too. Maybe we should have, maybe hot, we should dogs. have hot dogs in honor of Johnny. Yeah, I'm surprised John doesn't have any of that happening. Actually, I got to put the mac and cheese on, so I'm going to do that while everybody's sitting in here. Welcome to my house, everybody. Yeah, it's funny because these vegan brats look at identical to your, um, to your normal meat brats. Um, All right, I'm done. Hey, Becky, Becky Kohler just complimented Boz's meat. Well, oh, she, knows she, a good, oh, she, she knows a good Sazita when she sees one. I guess so. Yeah, see, here's our experience right here. Yeah, so uh, yeah, so, Mark, uh, wanted, to Mark come wanted to come over with his gorgeous, with his bride, gorgeous fern. bride, Fern. Fern and learn. My and learn. That's my, my, current, my wife. current wife, Fern. <laughs> <laughs> and so I said, yeah, you can come over, but... But you have to eat you vegan, have to eat vegan uh, bratwurst. Uh, bratwurst. I'm hearing you twice, Learn. I'm hearing you twice all of a sudden, Learn. I don't know if that's because of Mark. Mark's hook up or Here. what? Here. I bet it is. I bet it is. Nice. How about now? There we go. That's better. How come the U Man is eating already? Chris Hoff wants to know. John, why are you eating already? I thought we started eating right at five. <laughs> oh. What oh. else do you guys have? We have uh, deviled eggs and stuffed peppers and corn. Hey. <laughs> well, Lord, we have leftover mac and cheese for the kids. You could have made some. Yeah. You could have made some and shipped it on over. Man, I wish I could. I have yet to babysit those those little ones. Your oldest <laughs> I've babysat, but right. Yeah. Maggie asked me that all the corn. You know, people tend to overcook. You don't need to cook very long. Bring the pot to a boil. Drop the corn in. Three to four minutes. <laughs> Take it off the heat. In the kitchen. Then just let it sit in here. You don't take off the corn and shrivel up. No, no, no. John, do you ever do your corn in the cob on the grill? Oh, I guess I could, but I have. I do all the time. I love it like that. Yeah. Mm. 
Have you guys made Mexican street corn? Because I made that yes. last week. I yes, I make it. it all the time. Make it all the time. That's what I was. Take you, you do your corn on the grill. Well, Mission Taco serves it uh, off off the, the off the cob. Right. But uh, you can take slather mayonnaise, some chili powder, uh, lime juice, and uh, cotija cheese. Cotija Put it on there. Cheese. It's 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 not hot. It's, uh, it's so it's, good. It's, it's kind of like Parmesan, and it's it's the best. I love it. Hey, speaking of questions, I uh, earlier, well, yesterday I posted a thing and I wanted to do like an ask us anything. So this is for Favaz, Close, and you, man. Okay. So um, a bunch of listeners submitted some questions. Um, like for instance, Kurt Schmidt asks, what happened that one year during Pig Roast that Boston, Tom Scholes refused to play? Favaz knows. He's a vegan, and he wanted us to change the name after we had already announced it. And unbelievably, our boss at the time, Rick Bayless, went right along with it. And we had already announced it. We were promoting it as pig roast, and he made us change it because he's a vegan, and that's the whole story. <laughs> uh, here's one for everybody. Julianne uh, Simon, Julie, says, uh, who was your first concert? What was the first band you guys all saw in concert? Hmm. For me, it was John Denver. Really? Yep. Mm -hmm. Billy Joel. <laughs> Billy Joel. Yeah. Mine was Smashing Pumpkins down in Carbondale. Hang on, I'm gonna go check on Mark. Cause he's yeah, because we lost him. <laughs> it was Billy Joel at the uh, downtown, and he had come to the station that that day for an interview. He hitchhiked to the station. I happened to be outside the building there in Crestwood when he got out of the car. Took him inside. I believe Mark Close did the interview. Really? Then I went that night to the show and somehow I ended up with first or second row tickets right in front of Billy's piano. You know that opening part to Angry Young Man where he's with his left hand going, you know, that that open? I can't do it with my mouth. But. Mm -hmm. And he, he did it right in front of my eyes, right in front of my face. And it's, 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 it's uh, seared into my memory as uh, one of my favorite concerts. First time I heard the song play, performed live too. Yeah. That's pretty cool. About, uh, oh, here comes close. I hear something happening. God, he even got he even got to go to your house to get set up, and he still can't do it. I know. <laughs> I tried my best. Your best is usually the best, Larn. Oh, thanks, John. Hey, Becky, Becky Kohler says, nice apron. Yeah, uh, I had a friend of mine give me this because I love Emerald. And uh, this ap this apron is probably from the 90s, I would think. And it says, bam. That's cool. Yeah. Yep. Oh, here comes Mark somewhere. John, did, uh, Nick Kelly wants to know, did you find the Aussie tape where he spilled tea in your shoe? No, oh, I'm still looking, man. Got to be. I mean, there are... There have to be five in the basement with wow. almost none of them labeled very well. So it is going to take somebody who's diligent wanting to find that thing. And you'd think I'd be that diligent person, but I ain't got it in me to listen to all those tapes right now. Maybe Sophie could do it and you could pay her an allowance. But I don't know, know what she would be listening for, you know? Mm. That's you know? true. Uh, let's see. Melissa Diomedes asks, what is a crazy yeah. thing that happened while you were vacationing? So this doesn't have to do with Casey, but just like in our personal travels. Um, wow. I got it. Is it not working? It's not working. Um, here, you can sit here with me. Oh, one, my family. Mm -hmm. Okay. Should I be talking? Hey, Tony, put that Jason Sally quote up. Whatever happened to Carl, the intern, I got the feeling there was some tension there. There was no uh, tension. No, he got in prison, prison, right? Yeah. yeah. He's in prison, he's in prison he got, like five or ten. Yeah. He, he got let go by um, by Hubbard, as well as our boss did, on the same day. Yeah. And, you know, we were all sad. That's for sure. Yeah, we yeah. love Carl very much. Yes. Yeah. 
Yeah, they were, were you they all were, talking about your first concert? I didn't. My connection. Yeah. Bad. For what? Oz, what were you? I just real quick. I, I, I said John Denver. I said John I Denver. Jim, I saw John Denver at Merrimack Community College. Oh my great God. show. I wow. also saw the Carpenters mm. at Merrimack Community College so long ago that Karen Carpenter was the drummer. She was drumming and singing at the same time. Wow. You know, and I waited for her at the dressing room, but to no avail. Um, <laughs> Johnny, what, Johnny, your first show was uh, uh, Billy Joel, I, right? Yeah, I told the story about Billy Joel and uh, how you, I think, did that interview that day. You and I were just talking about this in the studio the other morning. Yes. Yep. Yeah. My, my first show was the Rolling Stones in 1966. I was 13 years old. What? Um, you know, I was I was dealing, so I was able to get backstage. You were dealing uh, drugs yeah, to Keith Richards? Well, it's yeah. I paid for grade school. Grade yeah, his parents school. put him up to it. His parents uh, put him up. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Um, <laughs> Rolling Stones, I paid $5 for the ticket. It was the same day, Johnny, as the All-Star game at the... Second Bush Stadium, I guess. The one mm -hmm. where remember where it was they had the Astro Turf and they, and Casey Stengel was one of the coaches and they asked him what he thought about the stadium. And he yeah. said it holds the heat really well. Because yeah. it was like a it was 120 degrees on the field. So right. but the Rolling, was, Rolling yeah, Stones played first, uh, and first concrete stadiums that they built. Those yes. Uh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. And the Stones played for maybe 24 minutes, and there was like four or five acts on there, and they came out and did Satisfaction to get up my cloud and all that wow. stuff. So at 13, it was pretty cool. Five bucks. What a deal. Hey, speaking yeah. of that, speaking of baseball, uh, Brian Strawn asks, what do you guys remember about playing softball against Tesla in the 90s? Well, I know I was there, but I don't remember a thing about that game. I do remember, I do remember uh, quite a bit about the Ozark Mountain Daredevils game. That was out of Johnny Max. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. The Tesla they were game. Cheating bastards. They were cheating we played... bastards. <laughs> yeah, cheating bastards. And then I think we also played. Uh, didn't we also play Poison? I wasn't there. Yeah. I was in grade school yeah, during Michael, that time. Oh God. Yeah, Brett Michaels and those guys. Yeah, Lauren wasn't born yet. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Nice. That's okay. Uh, I wish I was born in 1985. Very good. Whoops. Gave away your age. Sorry. 85. That's all right. I'm 35 and proud. Wow. 35. Um, let's see. Let's. I, I wrote down all these questions from listeners from yesterday. Tom Block asks, who was the first famous person you met while at Casey? And uh, when did you finally meet somebody who was like your top five? Hmm. 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 I mean, I, I know this. So I was actually in the studio with Favaz. I was working promotions. This is like the same year I started, 08. And Favaz, you had Joe Perry and Billy Perry in the studio. And I was like, I, did. I have to come in. I'm like, I'm dying. I'm a huge Aerosmith fan. And you're like, okay bring some Casey shirts in and you could come in the studio because we didn't want too many people in the studio. And I remember like giving Billy and Joe Perry Casey shirts and Billy Perry said something about how pretty I was, which I was like, okay, you're gorgeous. Like, that's amazing. <laughs> and then I, I had uh, <clears throat> Joe Perry autograph a shirt for my mom, which she has like on display at her house. But that was the first and like one of my top favorite people to meet. And it was the first one. It was pretty incredible. Interesting. Interesting thing about Joe Perry coming in that day. He knew that our logo, Sweet Meat, was the Bloodwin Pig. Did really? he really? He knew it. He knew wow. the album. He goes, hey, that's the Bloodwin Pig. I was like, yeah, you're right. I said, we've been using Joe Perry of Aerosmith. Amazing. And he, he knew. And so we just chatted huh. about it briefly. That's yeah. a great interview. It was pretty cool. Wow. I mean, the first famous person I ever met in my life when I was a kid, my, I was at Bush Stadium with my dad. We were sitting up in the uh, the, the Diners Club. What do you call that Diners Club they had out there out in, in Lebanon? Oh, yeah, that was the... Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's Big Mac land, John. Yeah, but it was all enclosed in glass and all that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, I don't know how we ended up getting up there, but uh, Mike Shannon came in and I took his hand. But, how you doing, young man? <laughs> Oh, the man of a thousand voices, John Hewitt. Yeah. And then you worked with him one day. How weird is that? I, yeah, he was on my radio show at KC95. Uh, it was called, uh, 
95 Live, and we were out in front of Whitey's restaurant. Whitey's restaurant was where Casey ended up being in there in the in the yeah. powerhouse. So, yeah, I had Mike on one. We were doing the uh, broadcast low plane. Sorry, we were doing the broadcast um, on a on a white wooden table out in the in the uh, open area there. And hey, John, it was called the Stadium Club. Stadium Thanks, Maggie. Club. Thanks, yeah. Maggie. Thank you, Maggie. So uh, yeah, he sits down at the table, and uh, the table was kind of a little wobbly, you know. I was kind of bothering him. <laughs> so, uh, I was uh, eating a hot dog back then, fun, fun, you know, and I had eaten about maybe I think a couple bites out of the hot dog, and I, I, I said, Mike, I got to get up to get something, so I get up to get something. And he, hey, John, you're gonna eat the rest of that hot dog. <laughs> And I, I looked at him, and as I got up to start to walk away from the table, I said, no, Mike, you, you can have it. Like, oh, my God, Mike Shannon's going to finish my hot dog. <laughs> so I walked away. I kept an eye on him, and he picked up my hot dog and took the, the meat out of the bun, put the hot dog back on the plate, pulled the bun over, and put it underneath the table leg to le level out the table. <laughs> <laughs> and I bet you that's not the first time he's ever done that. No, it, no. It was perfect. <laughs> <laughs> That's the last time Johnny ever ate a hot dog, I'll bet. So I came back to the table and he said, Hey, John, I fixed your table. <laughs> Very nice. Very nice. See, my <clears throat> first my first famous guy was Lauren Green. <laughs> oh, yeah. Where was that? Favage, you know who Lauren Green is? I don't. Oh, oh, Bonanza. oh, from, uh, from Bonanza. Bonanza. Yeah, that guy. So I, I go out to the airport to pick up Fog Hat. Because we had Fog Hat at the '66 Drive-In Theater for a free show, right next to the uh, right next to the station. So I go out there, and I'm waiting around for them. And I look over, and there's Lauren Green. And oddly enough, he had a green suit on. And I just, <laughs> I just, I walked over to him. And I go, Mr. Green, welcome to St. Louis. And he goes, Thank you, young man. That was it. That was that's the that most famous it. Yeah, 48 years in radio, Lauren Green. Thank you. You know. Well, I, I, met, there. I, Go ahead. I met Eric Clapton. Really? I met him at Eric the corner Clapton. at the corner of Eighth and Pine downtown. And he was in town to play Chuck Berry's 60th oh, anniversary right. show. Down at the Fox. And so I took a break uh, from my day job. I worked for the state and I walked across the street and I looked up and he was right in front of me. And I said, oh, oh my, oh my God, Eric Clapton. I mean, I was totally starstruck. Oh. He was oh. cool as could be, and I did not have anything for him to write his autograph mm. or anything. And he had just been shopping at what, St. Louis Center, uh, which is closed now. And he had uh, he was with some other uh, British guy, and I'll just never forget meeting Eric Clapton. It was it was the coolest thing, you know. Now, Fawaz has met Eric Clapton and Paul. That's pretty cool. I have. My yeah. two legends that I, I admire. Right, but you, but you, but you met. Uh, Mick Jagger and Keith Richards. That's true. Yeah. Well, I've met all of them. Wow. Oh, well. And you shook hands with Mick and you said it was like a dead fish. Yeah. It was the softest handshake man I've ever experienced in my life. <laughs> any, uh, any of you guys ever meet Lauren Green? <laughs> <laughs> no. I don't think. Well, that was sick. I that was my favorite right. list. Hey, there's Sarah Jordan. I, I got to uh -oh. pop in for a minute. So I met Mick Jagger too. I met the whole band. It was the weirdest handshake on the planet. I mean, it was, <laughs> it, was it was uncomfortable. The handshake. I'm gonna be. Honest. It, what was it like this? Did he have? Did he have his hand like that? Well, I had to jump across the room just to meet him, and then when he did, you know, you expect like that, you know, man handshake, you know, and it was just. It was. Mm. It was Your hand. So. Mm. Sorry, I'll jump out now. I just want to throw here, Jordan. That's a great story. I'll be back. I have more. I'll be back. Hey, <laughs> yeah. but before we go, we should talk about something. What? Right now on KC95.com, we're doing a contest, Show Us Your Meat, where you can send us a picture of you barbecuing, you grilling, and you can win a really cool grill. And, I guess oh. I and so you guys, everybody out there in the inner worlds, Go out there, submit your pictures. I'll approve them. I'll post them. And we're going to pick a random winner. And you can walk home with a really cool grill. 
Now, Tony, what, what if they send you a picture of their real meat? Well, what do you do with that? I think they only send those to you, Favada. Oh, you're going to send those to me. Okay. That's yeah. Cool. I, I think make sure John gets them. you. I don't and then know once I'm done with them, I give them to Mark Close. Yes. Okay. No, we, have a, no. we have a regular no, that's not heavy enough. <laughs> Just that flower pot right there will do. So show us your meat. So like this vegan crap I'm eating here over at Learns won't call Yeah, well, you can do that. You can okay. send those pictures in. Yeah, yeah. You, can show, you can show off your Thank hot you, ass. Yeah. Your vegan meat. Well, it's, you yeah. can't call it meat. Well, right. we don't judge. You know, to each their own. Yeah. Did you guys already talk about Favaz getting the uh, the picture of the penis? Or is no, that, has that come up? No, no. <laughs> we brushed over it lightly, Learn. We did so to over. speak. <laughs> so to speak. Well, so so Learn has opened that can of worms. It was a text, I believe. And when we used to have the texter and the guy so not not on his phone. Right, right. Yeah, not on my phone. It was at the studio. And and it was uh who knows if it was real. It could have been, you know, a porn stars thing. And so um I immediately forwarded it to Ray and everybody else who thought it was really funny. It was really funny. And uh, either she, he said it or there, or uh, he left a message or somebody left a message. My wife beats my meat or something like that. Oh my so, God. Right? That, that was it. Yeah, that's not, okay, so just to reiterate, that's not what we want at all. We want right. to see actual like meat cuts, right? Like, please don't send us penis photos. Right. Yeah, we just no. want to see picture people grilling, you know, Baconator. We did this back in 2015 in the Baconator one. You remember that thing? It was like yes, four different meats wrapped with like 100 pounds of bacon. Yeah. Yes. So. You know what's weird is if you ever go to Baldwin, maybe you know this, on Manchester, like westbound Manchester mm -hmm. after 270, they have what's called a bacon log cabin. And every time I see the little... Right, like the sign for it, because it's not right. like a ba it's not like bacon meat log cabin. No, that's the person's name. It's, it's the person's bacon. name, and so every time I see it, I'm like, oh my god, somebody built like an insane bacon log cabin, but it's never that, and I get very disappointed. Wow, <laughs> you miss that every morning, John. You missing that that conversation? <laughs> yeah. So I have a question. I have a question. So today would have been pig roast. Well, I've got some good meat stories too, though. I got so many great. Yeah, <laughs> both, everybody in both, this whole group has. You meat both stories. talk about meat really well. So who, who was Thank everybody you. excited to see today? Because obviously, so, you know, Tony's trying to keep us on track. No, um, yeah. not at all. No, not at all. I'm just, uh, you know, this was my, you know, all the pig roasts we've done. Being, you know the guy I am and the music I listened to and the short stint I had with the show was because of the love of that music. And so when this show got announced, I was like, oh my God, this is like the greatest thing ever. Yeah, so, you're like the mayor. Oh my God. So today, <laughs> is, the first thing I did this morning when I woke up is I played Dokken into the fire. I was so looking forward to seeing Dokken tonight. Oh. I was, I really was. It was I was cute. excited to see Lita. I think it was really, I mean, I know you all are dudes, but it's really cool to have a chick on a main She's stage. very talented. She's very okay. talented. And I'm drawing a blank on her name, but I heard your break the other day about Alice's guitarist. Nita Strauss. She's fantastic. Yeah. She is fantastic. And she's a great guitarist. One of the she best. She's amazing. Yeah. She has a new solo yeah. record coming out. So, so I saw last time Lee. they were at. Uh... So does Tommy Lee, and I heard it's horrible. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Tommy Lee's son has a new record out too. He has some sort of screamo band. Screamo? I yeah. Think. Tommy's. I think Tommy's going to show us his meat too later. Oh, good. Sweet. <laughs> Sweet. Oh, CJ Kernan says something here. To touch on this convo, weirdest text you guys have ever received. Got a text from a random number of someone's grandmother in a casket. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. The text said, the text said, doesn't she look good? Oh, no. <laughs> wow. I know. You know, my, my, my grand, I know. In, 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 in um, uh, Lebanese custom, you know, going to the funeral this is a very important thing you know you if you heard anybody who you remotely ever met in the in in, in the past when they died you went to the funeral you're talking and lebanese funeral I right now on pig roast day sorry yeah, i want to hear it yeah. keep going yeah uh, what a yeah. story well that's that's what that's what my grandma she'd always come back and, and tell us how good the person looked in the casket embalmed oh, oh she looked God. really good i think that's everybody's you know, like, grandma i mean i had an italian grandma and i mean she would always say something like going to awake like oh you know 
yeah, like something yeah. they'd look good. Hmm. Yeah. All my relatives just got buried in the backyard. Oh, just really? So it was just oh. easier, quicker, cheaper. I know. Yeah. That's that's what I want to happen to me, too. Just put me Absolutely. in the ground. I don't give a damn. No put box. Me a, no, no put me in a 55-gallon trash, trash bag and leave me by the curb. Just, Are we all going not for the death, trash bag. Uh, that's it. Here? I, it's... 50, you know, pay 20 grand for a funeral. What the hell for? You're dead. Right. I heard that. Yeah. I'm yeah. still, if, if and when all of you people die, I'm going to have a big party in your honor, though. Okay. So I'm going to have a uh, kegger, a kegger for close. Well, it's 530, so we're kicking off the minute, so. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, um, so who would be on stage right now if we were there? Tony? 5.30. Hold on. My guess would be, because we never we never got a actual schedule because we never got to that point. But my guess, if I had to guess, I'd probably say Jack Russell's Great White would probably yeah. be about right now. Honestly. All right. Yeah. Because we had the two stages. But, you know, everything that I hear about last year's show was Rat stole the show. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I loved rat. Sure. yeah. Don't get me wrong. I'm a huge GNR fan. And so Slash was super cool to me. But, you know, I'm, you know, I'm invested in his solo stuff. But Rat stole the show last year. And Rat's Geico commercial is awesome. It's the funniest thing ever. Yeah. Did yeah. you notice Round and Round is in the charts again? It's is really, it really? Good. It's like oh. top 30 like in rock singles. Yeah. Because so of that? Great, that commercial. Yep. commercial. We have yeah, a rat problem. Funny. We got a rat <laughs> problem. We got a rat problem. Yeah. At the end of the commercial, like the bonus <laughs> stuff, where she goes, you just keep going round and round. And he goes, good one, honey. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's great. That go does it again. There, that's the best marketing agency on the Jersey planet. I, I wonder. I wonder how much they made for that. Sequin uh, yeah, that's a good question. So good. I don't know. I'd love to know. You know, yeah, that's the kind of thing I would I would want to know. Yeah, the money. Oh, what it cost? What they had to pay rat? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thirty thousand. Make some calls. Thirty thousand calls. Get yeah. back. Call your daughter, Mark. She'll know. She'll, she'll yeah, know. She can, she can find out. Yeah. Huge rat fan. Big Huge rat, rat fan. fan. Love that. Dan Sokolik says uh, I was really looking forward to seeing Tom Kiefer and Jack Russell, two of the most underrated guys from that era. I'd agree. Cool. Remember, John, we interviewed Tom Kiefer, and we never got to play it. Why? John? Really? What happened? I forgot. <laughs> uh, Pigros got canceled? Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> you can still play me. <laughs> yeah, you can still play me. So no, can, no. Play we interviewed him in January, uh, so there was no point in playing it then. We were going to play right. it when we got closer to the Pigros, right. and it got canceled. You should have still oh, okay. played Okay, all right. Are, are oh you all going to apologize to me now? Yep. <laughs> John, you could edit it up. You're really good at editing. It'd be perfect. <clears throat> yeah, Mark Close and I do vinyl exams together. He, he has no idea how much I edit him out of that show. <laughs> <laughs> I've had people, people stop me and go, what is with you and you? And I've, I haven't heard you yet. And I'm like, what? So, yeah, nice. Very nice. Thank you. <laughs> or, or I put two things together that don't make sense. Him saying something. He, he made sense when he said it, but then I put them together and he doesn't make sense. That's my friend. <laughs> oh That's my, my boy. God. Didn't he teach oh, you the board? I, did, yeah, I, taught, you... I taught John Hewlett how to run the board at Casey. Thanks a lot. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> hey, hey, everybody's eating pizza here today. Yeah, really? What? Oh. oh, no. Look, Sasha got a hold of my corn on the cob. Oh, no. Oh, look no. at her. Sweet girl. She's eating my leftover God. cob. <laughs> is that bad for dogs? I don't know. Yeah. Uh, most of yeah. their food is made of corn, like their dry food. So. Yeah, but they can't have the husk, though. They oh. they, they can't have the husk. Oh. Or not the husk, whatever it's called. The cob. Yeah, the cob. Hey, yeah. John, John follow, her, yeah. follow, her, follow her around tomorrow and make sure there's corn poop. Yeah. For us. Let us know. Oh. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll let you uh, I'll let Sophia do that. That's what they're eating. Oh, pizza? He must out. What, he barbecue pizza? Emo's. Yeah. yeah. John, pizza? No. The girls ordered Emo's. Oh. Hey, that's cool, man. That's a sponsor. So, so, did, Mark, so did Mark bring it over from across the street? <laughs> yeah. No, he's not allowed in this neighborhood. <laughs> Johnny, did you, did you ever tell the story on the air about when you moved into your neighborhood and the football player? Remember this? Remember where you live now? And who, who was it? Remember? Was, oh, yeah. Did yeah, you it was Trent, Trent Green. 
He saw so John moves into his new house. How long you been living there? Uh, we were here before him. We were. Uh, I moved here in '98. So he, I think he came in like what? When Trent Green came in here, like three years later, three or four years later. And so they were having like a board meeting or an alderman meeting or something like that. And they started talking. They go, yeah, you know, John Hewlett lives in this neighborhood. And Trent Green goes, you mean a DJ? <laughs> <laughs> they said, what's a DJ doing in a neighborhood like that? <laughs> Johnny gets no respect. <laughs> uh hey let's tell rich where to go so rich go to kc95.com it's the should be the first thing in the rotator i just what? i was just uh talking to my husband about he goes you guys gonna eat and i said fern will make you a plate and he'll make me a plate up and we'll be eating our vegan bread i want to see if you actually like the oh, vegan bread i'm sure it'll be just something else <laughs> What did you make us learn, eat learn that time that was vegan? That was really gross. Um. Oh, God. Yeah, yeah. Remember? So, well, I need you guys. Are you talking about the pigskin challenge? Cause yeah. What What was that? I don't I don't rem I don't remember what you made. Well, us eat. I made you eat. Um, wasn't it those vegan pigs? Remember those little pigs that were made of? I don't know. They were like gummy pigs dipped in hot sauce. Oh, okay, but was there something else too? I can't like, remember. I made you guys eat so much crap. So, because I did so well on the right, football yeah, challenge, you're smoking them. Uh, so you guys ate stuffed peppers that weren't hot, which was disappointing. Then you had the ghost pepper gummy bears that were fine, that were super hot. Then you had the pigs. They were like little. Um, oh, that was good. Not so. mascarpone, but um, marzipan, right marzipan, marzipan pigs with pig. some sort of hot sauce. I think that might have been it. Oh, okay. Hey, can I show you guys something? Yeah. Uh oh. Oh God, it's not oh. your, no. It's a family <laughs> show. So no. So I don't know. Can you see that? So, the guitar. That's the very first pig roast autographed by everybody that was there. What the hell's it doing at yeah, your what, house, Tony? Hello. Hold on. Hold on. Just kidding. Another no band. Roast. Oh wow! I have one from every show that we've had. Look that's at you! Six, that's oh. Nick Mario one here. Tony, again, why are we not at your house right now in your pool? Is what there, I really want to know. There's Dave Mason, the Outlaws, CDB on that one. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I have an autographed guitar from every pig roast. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. You guys are more than welcome. See ya. Bye. Okay. Yep, we're gonna come over. <laughs> come over, come now. I mean, we'll wait for you. We'll just you got corn on the cob. Roll, and then uh... <laughs> you got corn on the cob. Yeah, John, you got to bring your own, man. There's some in the fridge. Oh man, bring your own corn, man. Hey, I, I'm low battery on my phone. I don't have to go inside. All right. Okay. Yeah, let's see the U kitchen. Let's go. It's a I've drank a lot of tequila mess right in now. that kitchen. Yeah, I'll bet. I'll bet. With his wife. Yeah, you have. <laughs> I decided to stick around. Is that cool? Yeah. Absolutely. We want you here, Tony. This is your show. This is your show. Tony is our, Tony is our uh, internet dad. What do you call it? Uh, the Web daddy. Web daddy. Web daddy. Web daddy. And, uh, Facilitator here. I'm glad. Do you guys want more questions from listeners? I have a couple more. Yeah, please, please. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, all right. So Brockney Engelman says, "Name one song you enjoy by an artist you hate." Runaway. Mm. Bon Jovi. Oh, an artist. I don't really hate any. What Runaway. song was it? Runaway, Runaway by Bon Jovi. Yeah, you're a fan. Big fan. Yeah. Um, I don't like Jethro Tull at all. So, I, I mean, and there really isn't like any song by Jethro. I know this is upsetting. To no, you. I, okay. I, you know, I've never understood that, though, because and I've asked John about this. Farm on the Freeway is my favorite Jethro Tull song. Mark, do you know that song? I know the song. Yeah. Farm on the I, looked, I looked for it the other day. We don't have it in the studio. It's, 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 a little, it's a, an ob it's, more obscure track. It's, it's not very obscure. It's, yeah. it's, it's, it's fantastic. Farm on the Freeway by Jethro Tull. Hmm. It's my favorite song by those guys. 
How much flute is involved, Tony? Is there a lot of flute in that song? Yeah, well, that's this whole thing. Ian Anderson's thing is the flute, you know? So it's all, I don't yeah. know. I think flute rock sucks, though. Oh, there you go. There you go. <laughs> He yeah, Lur but but Lurd, he just said uh, to Dan Rather why he took up the flute. Did you? Why? And what was that? Because he I because he because he heard Eric Clapton play guitar and he knew he would never be as good. Yeah, and that's, that's a god's honest. That's story. why he picked up the the flute. Yep, yep, yep. yep. That was that's why there he did was one it. Time, a couple of years ago, that they interviewed him and he got he was all mad at the audience because they wore dungarees. And he said, when you come to a concert, you should get more dressed up. And he looks pretty much homeless for the most part when he performs. Right. But he was he would he actually on the interview said, I really don't want to look out and see people's jeans wearing dungarees. It's like, sorry, Ian, you know, we paid our money. If we want to come nude, we're gonna do it. So. He's gonna hate my wardrobe. Oh, that's yeah. for sure. So hmm. Rock yeah, there, are Rock there any other uh, questions learned that are non-music related? Because I think those are more interesting. Okay, somebody wanted to know, I, don't, I didn't write this down, but somebody wanted to know why we play the same 200 songs. Ooh. Ooh. Well, they're not 200. Sure, they're not 200. They're about 375, I think. I don't know anymore, I'm not, I'm not intimately involved, but we do music tests, uh, and with Hubbard, we do one at least once a year, and we do these tests on men uh, who are like, we call them P1s. They're, uh, they listen to Keishi all the time. So they know the music and some songs test in, some songs test out. So um, that's why we do what we do. And every station out there does the same exact thing. So I think that's about the best I can explain it. That's very good. Um, let's see, do I have anything else? Oh, what's the most embarrassing Keishi moment that's happened to all of us? I know this isn't necessarily music, but it is station related, like in an interview or mm -hmm. did you poop your pants on the air? You know, any of that would be qualified, I think, for most embarrassing moment. John? Well, John, <laughs> John left. I don't see John. There. Hold on. Hold on. John's back. John's back. Hold hey. on. John's back. He obviously Hold has on. a very large house. It took him a half an hour to get right. to his kitchen. <laughs> No, no, it disconnected, and I, I've, been oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I've been backstage for five minutes waving at Tony. Hey, put me back on. So the question is, All right. something All right, that's I'm really sorry. embarrassing. John's been on there for five seconds because I'm because right. I'm watching everything, and you know I know that I see everything. He's been on there for five seconds, five yeah. minutes, right. five minutes. You wrong. You wrong. wrong. Whatever. Are you trying the food? Goat cheese. Love me goat I cheese. I love goat cheese too. Mm. All right, so Randy yeah. has a question. Cheese from a goat's I know, I know you're a classic rock, rock station. Why not new rock? Greta Van Fleet rocks. Uh, Tommy Mattern, who was our boss at the time, took away new music and no one noticed. No. Not a single <laughs> listener. I mean, it took months before somebody said, hey, how come you're not playing the new Shine Down or whatever? Right. I was just like, wow, okay. And I'm not a Greta Van Fleet fan, um, and I've said that before because they sound too much like Zeppelin, and I don't know how you can be like a band that sounds, I don't know how you could be a band that sounds too much like somebody else. It just doesn't work for me. But that's why we don't play new rock. Uh, we're um, known as a classic rock station, and if you want new rock, which, you know, I like new rock, I know a lot of us do, go somewhere else. Yeah. Let do. me say this, though, too, you because of the no all. repeat, we do no repeat days. So really you would only be hearing that new single once a day. And that's really not good for the artist. Right. Yeah. And that's the way that it was uh, for a long time. You know, we played Greta. We played, we played, Greta. We played Tricks. Tricks. Yeah. We, did. Well, we didn't play it more than once a day. No, I understand. But we did play them. We just stopped playing them. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So. But back in the day when we did play Currents, we would spin a song three times a day. Right. For the most. Right. And then we went down to one spin a day. And then, it, you know, they've been gone now for the better part of over a year and a half. So, yeah, once okay. a day part. It was once a day part, you know? Yeah, that's it. That's why. Yeah. It's not a, is this a staff meeting or are we broadcasting? Yeah. <laughs> 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 so Tony's, Tony's, Tony's putting up these very valid questions. So. <laughs> 
Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. 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 So it's a question that comes up a lot. We Why is John Yu eating tricks? Because it's John Hewlett. Because they're right. her kids. <laughs> really? And someone wants to meet Fern. Try, hang on. We're trying the vegan brat. Vegan brat? <laughs> In 3D. <laughs> John's oh. frozen. John's frozen, by the way. Yeah. What do you think about it? No. Oh, just, uh, just, just like down the legend, Tony. Yeah. John is, yeah frozen. <laughs> I gotta admit, though, that was cool. That we got well, one that Don knows how to use a phone. That right, that's right, first. right. And then second, he actually came in for a while. I mean, he that did. was yeah, that was cool. He did. Yep. Uh, yeah, he was in the middle of nowhere. And so it's like being on a deserted, deserted island and your phone's still charged, but you have no reception. Right. I mean, you have it, but okay. it's, it's of no use. I mean, hey, Matt Pullen, are you going to bring back the texting because not everyone does Twitter? Uh, Matt, that's a great question. And the texting thing costs money. Yeah. And we're not going to bring it back because it costs money. All right. But here's a, here's about, here's a good question. We should, we should. Talk about this. Mm, oh my God! Yeah, let's talk oh. about this. Uh oh. Uh oh. Never, 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 ever, ever, ever. I gotta tell you, this is fun. This is like the best hour of my life. Uh, so, so learn is that is that vegan brought the Beyond Meat stuff? It's um, not. Yes, it is. It, it is. Uh, sorry, I had, I had the it's Whopper really from Burger King, and it was really good. The, the, it really the, is good. It yeah. tastes like a brat. Look it at this. Like, you it heard it here like first. Brat. But it's expensive. I know that that those things are expensive. So yeah, but you know what? Meat is also expensive right now because of all the meat plants yeah. closing. Yeah. Yep. So I guess you just got seven dollars for a pound of hamburger. It's usually a dollar ninety nine. It's six ninety nine a pound now. Wow. Mm -hmm. Hey, uh, I, think use, I think they use couch cushion when they make that vegan brat stuff. <laughs> How many of the staff remember Gary Records Brown on Sunday night? Of course. I do, yeah. He got old his show over in KDI. I don't know. It doesn't say. I'm, I'm reading a question. Yeah. yeah he, uh, Gary worked over. Yes, I remember KD. Gary. Sure. 96 Street. He did it for a long time. He did it at the leather bottle over in Clayton, which was a real hot spot at yeah. the time. The leather bottle. The leather bottle right. was a club. Johnny remembers, and uh, yeah, he would do the. Uh, it was it was like wasn't it like eight to midnight, John or something on Sunday nights, and it was oldies and stuff. And he did he did very well with them. I, yeah. I worked with Gary for a while. He was a really really good guy. Good yeah, guy. yeah, I know the name. Hey, but yeah, he passed away pretty young. He right, was he in his fifties for long? Something, yeah. Was when he passed? Oh, I don't know. Yeah, fifties yeah. mark when he passed away. Hey, yeah, uh, some work. Yeah. Hey, hey Tony, uh, put up uh, uh, work at Casey, though. Christopher Stephen Malone's question. All right, but I got to say something. Oh. Uh, uh -oh. No, no, no. It's all good. But I, I want to say <laughs> thanks to somebody. AARP of Missouri is sponsoring this today. Yep. And Great. They, they were one of the sponsors of Pig Roast, and right. we didn't have it. And so one of our great sellers, Linda Sutton, got them to sponsor this. And, Look at you. And, and but thanks to AARP, you know, because without them, we wouldn't be doing it. Right now, so great. That's yeah. Hey John, does the UN have a good cardiologist? Laugh out loud. Yeah. I know one. I eat cereal all the time too. Yeah, good Alan night. Sofer is his name. Alan <laughs> Sofer. As a matter of fact, he's he's the brother, he's the brother of JC Corcoran's first wife. Oh, is that why you go to him? Yeah, you get like yeah. No, so, well, it's better. Yeah, JC told me to go to him a long time ago. Yeah, yeah. Hey, but I want to point this out, Christopher. Here, I don't know if you know this, but every day when I post the Real Rock Army member, he's the first one to comment Ten Hut every day on everybody's post on social. Wow. What this Chris Malone guy? Yeah, every oh. day he oh. says Ten Hut. Congrat, you know, because they're every day. So Christopher, oh. thank, thank you. you. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Chris. Mm -hmm. Are you guys eating like normal food, John? I see you're on your third bag. Of yeah. Chips or no? You're no, just not not yeah. 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 Salt and pepper flavor. Um, Denise hasn't fed me yet. 
Nick Kelly says, I think Tim was trying to help close out when he was trying to get on his phone. Yes, that was my husband. Yes. Would you like to come say hi to the people? Bless you. Sorry. Don't say anything? He, was, okay. he was helping me, and it wasn't. A, tell him, Timmy. It wasn't me. It was my phone. There he is. There's Tim. Hi, Hello. Tim. Hi, Tim. Hi. I've got a jitterbug. I paid big money for this thing, and the fact that it didn't work right is really bothering me. Right. You need yeah, to right. check it out. Hey, hey, you, hey, you, man. Ken Hawkins says, meow, meow. What? Ken Hawkins says meow meow. What does that mean? What does that mean? I don't know. I just what thought you should, I just mean? thought you should know. Meow meow. Meow wow. No, meow wow. Oh, meow wow. That you guys are talking in. Hey Bernie's in Florida. Yeah, Bernie. Yeah, too. meow wow. I don't know what that means. Turn it up. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Oh, and cool. my holding. By the you know, way, uh, I invited the guys from Tesla to come there's on. There's a lot of old people in Bradenton. You know what? You know there's <laughs> what? what, John? What? There's a lot of there's a lot of old people in Bradenton, but their parents live in Sarasota. Is that a joke? Yeah. <laughs> what the hell? Are you talking to <laughs> old people zip codes in Florida right now? Yeah, Bernie Hug says, Hi guys, greetings from Bradenton, Florida. Right, right, I know. Oh. oh, okay. Here, here, Kenneth, says, is, Kenneth, is now explaining. <laughs> Kenneth is explaining. I was referring to Lauren's cat Clover. Meow, wow. Oh, no. yeah, she's not here right now. She hates people mm. other than just Tim and I. Great. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, yeah, I invited Tesla to come on with us tonight and uh, didn't happen. Sorry. Mm. I tried. I don't think they're not very fond of you. I had no, heard they that they're that they're not they big fans of Johnny. Yeah, they're really nice guys, though. That's what they remember losing that. They remember that softball. That's game it. Lost. They remember that loss. Right. That's it. We smoked them. That's mm. it. Mm. Bad feelings. Bad feelings. So hey, David listens in Virginia. Look at that. Thirty-second song challenge, guy. Look at you guys. Oh yeah. You guys are world famous. Yeah, that's a fun game. Yeah. We, uh, game. Like we started that. the we started the human brain strain, and we have uh, all kinds of special effects now that we'll unveil tomorrow. They're pretty and good. That, oh. There and that's at seven twenty-five. And um, John has to answer three questions about a person or a subject matter or whatever. So, hmm. thank you for your service, uh, Favaz, because we want him to live for like a really long time. So this is like well helping his brain. Yes, I'm trying to rid the world of dementia. One you man at a time. That's right. All right. Here's a good question. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so far, yes. Yeah. I think Sammy. So. Sammy said that uh, oh, it should be we, open. Are we still going to Cabo? I know. I want to. I'm going. Yeah. Until unless they cancel it, but Sammy said that uh, the cantina will be open July 1st, so it's closed right now. Juju. We have about five more minutes left of this until we're all on the seventh day, yeah. which is miraculous because we're all just going to be there was, right at six. It's amazing how that works. It's magic. <laughs> it's magic. Well, and I know the answer to this we're driving question, our asses off. But I know the answer to this question, but maybe the listeners don't. So normally on the seventh day, we play albums, and we play like four to five, six albums. Just depends on the length, right? For us, what are they yeah. going to hear at six o'clock? So w w when they tune in, what are they going to hear? Uh, six o'clock, they're going to hear Alita Ford and Cinderella, right, Learn? I think that's right, Favaz. And then they're going to hear um, um, Great White. Is it Great White next? Along with another band and Dokken. And Dokken. And then uh, a Rat, Greatest Hits, kind of a great, I can't remember the other. But a Tesla Greatest Hits, and then uh, the one album that we will do tonight in its entirety is Love It to Death from Alice Cooper. Alice Cooper, which is a great album. Great yeah. album. One it of the best rock albums of all time. It's a toss-up. I would have argued for Billion Dollar Babies, but you know what? You know. Yeah. yeah I would have had to put that in, Tony. So. Yeah. You know. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So my favorite Alice Cooper album is From the Inside. <coughs> Never heard of it. No. Yeah. yeah. Um, Hold on. Maybe I'm maybe I got the wrong title. Hold on. Yeah. My favorite Alice Cooper is when he's in Wayne's World. Wayne's World One. No. Milwaukee. 
Miliwake, the good oh, man. Yeah. Yes, yes. Mili. John Mili and I were just talking yeah. about that. Does yeah. this guy know how to party or what? Yeah, from the inside. He it's does. got uh, Wish I Was Born in Beverly Hills. Mark, you don't know that song? Nurse Rosetta. Mark. Uh -oh. Serious? Uh -oh. His biggest hit, Serious, or like from that time. This is when he went into the mental institution. This is when he was in the mental institution. And he wrote the, uh, the album? Yeah. Really? Yeah, from the inside. The only thing I know about for sure about Alice Cooper is that he cheats in golf. There we go. And John Eula told me that story. Right, Johnny? Oh, hey, no. <laughs> Get, it on the, I mean, he, Get it on the air. Get it on record. Here we go. He, he had a song he on took that a few album. mulligans. Could have swore you told me that, John, that it just he kept getting yeah, he, a better lie. He, and like he took a couple mulligans, yeah. 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 Okay. Well, he had a song on that album called got seven years. I still got the scorecard. You still have the scorecard, what? John? Yeah, I got it. He autographed it. I got the scorecard. He shot. He says he shot 78 that day. I would say he probably shot 80. <laughs> <laughs> what did you, what did you shoot? What yeah, what did you shoot, do? John? Yeah, there you go. How are you going to see me now? I don't remember. Oh, we don't yeah. remember. It's never heard of it. Yeah. Because yeah. that I was never heard of it. You cheat. Yeah, so, you yeah. heard of the mulligan. Yeah. yeah. But he had a song on that album called For Rock. Let's just put it this way. My scorecard. What? Tony, you're just going to have to Let's pause. Put this way. My yeah, no. so, is Tony, we don't care about that album. <laughs> yeah, That's why Hair Jordan's off the air. No. Oh, no. Hey, hey. Oh. I, I, I don't. Yeah. You're a rim chat. Hang on. Thanks, Mark. Down. That's what I was right thinking now. of. Yeah, I'm on the side yeah. right now. Well, I was going to tell a story. but Oh, okay. No. No. No, I was saying. <laughs> Okay. Oh, are you going to see me now? No, no, no. Hold on. Hold on. Kenneth hold on. Hawkins says, oh, you look great. Right it has no. the hit song. How are you going to see me oh, now? Oh, Danny Solomon, our sales manager. I don't manager. that song being a hit. <laughs> say, does anybody want to answer, anybody want to answer that one? <laughs> sales manager. Let's see. Ah. <laughs> That's a tough Dave, one, yeah. Dave Kaiser. <laughs> wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> what, about, what about Tom Hoyt? <laughs> what about Tom Hoyt? Tom, oh, Tom, Tom, we love Tom. Tom. We love yeah, he Tom. Was good. Have we, has Casey got a sales manager now? I can't. Do you know who it is? I don't oh, know. Uh, um, Nothing. I think it's D. Danny. Hey, Danny, Danny Salami. 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 Danny Salami. Danny Salami. Salami. Danny Salami. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, who was that uh, sales manager we had? Who was that sales manager we had who um, rescued some guy who got bitten by a shark in Florida and was on a documentary? On, uh, on PBS. This was before me. Yes. That was, I thought that was yeah, the guy. Was guy. I thought he was, uh, worked at the point. Gary somebody, Tony, you oh, know who he is. Gary. Wow. Yeah. Gary. Oh, Gary. Good old yeah, Gary. Good old Gary. But he was a sales Give that shark manager. Yeah. He Tony, you know who I'm talking about? Uh, I do. He was a sales manager, right? But Yes, no. but he wasn't a Casey. He was a point sales was manager. Point. Gary Harkin. Gary Harkin. That was him. Oh, oh. Yeah. I'm sitting in a I'm sitting in a hotel room. Gary Harkin, yeah. I was sitting in a hotel room Look, in Florida time. one day. I was down at spring training. And I just had the TV on one evening. And all of a sudden they're doing this, you know, they're doing this documentary on, on people who save people who got bitten by sharks. And all of a sudden Gary Harkin pops on the damn screen. It was shocking. He went in and risked his life. Pulled the guy out and saved the guy's life after he got bitten by a damn shark. That's wow. hot. And he was a sales manager at the that. point. I walked in the next day. I came back from Florida. I go in the next day, and there he's sitting in his office. Said, Dude, you're a hero. I had no idea. Um, uh, was he drunk, John? Was he drunk, John? John, was he drunk? I guess he can't hear me. Oh. What? Is Mike talking? <laughs> <laughs> he might have been. All know. right. So he might have been. I think that was one of his. Uh, new, I don't know. New, new seven stuff. days gonna start. Oh, seven yeah, days gonna start. Yeah. Okay. Right. Yes. You got fifty-four seconds. Okay. This, is, yeah, this has really been something. Uh, That's true. <laughs> yep. I and wish you were all at my house, even the listeners. You know, I wish I could make you all eat vegan brats like Mark. They're very good. They're all, everything here is is just just very Mark, good. Mark, did you eat all of your brat? No, because I was trying to talk, and it's in oh, my, I'm like you oh, just trying to talk with your mouth is full. Got it. Like got it. it got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Oh, I'm good. 
Well, yeah, that's pig roast, gentlemen. Does, wait a minute. Does the brat does the brat have an end on it that John won't eat? That looks because it looks like an anus. Yeah. Yes. Right does it? Yeah. Let me. Yeah. Show me your anus, Mark. Close. Yeah. There it is. Oh, you got to put it over here. No. No. And All right. Lift up the bun. <laughs> Fern says lift up the bun. She says that that's to me all the time. Said. Oh wow. All right. I knew it was, I knew it was gonna look like Cry. that. It's delicious. I knew it was gonna look like that. All right. Well I'm gonna go. I gotta finish cooking. All right, we got s'mores casserole to eat, so. Okay. Thanks for listening, everybody. Happy Big Rose, everyone. Happy pig roast. We'll see you next year. See ya. Bye. 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 Bye.